After researching how to get colors a bit better out of the video camera that I've been using, I came across a video that gave us a really good tip. So I wanted to capture just the quick application of that tip and I'll provide a link in the description below to that other YouTube video which gives you way more definition on what's going on. But essentially the, the camera that I have will often come out in uh, kind of a little bit dark or grayish sort of tones. So the way that uh, I was doing before was just using a, a video affix and I was using levels and I was just doing a brighten on it. But what uh, I have learned is that if you use this uh, other tool called uh, off the color correction uh, capabilities, oh, I guess I should start your color correction the first time you're using it, it'll probably start on the vector scope. So, um, well, what the tool that I'm using though uses uh, uh, visual representation from the RGB parade. So that's the one that we want to get in here. And what this is doing, and my my rudimentary understanding is, it's mapping the pixels of where they are in the uh, the spectrums here for it. So this particular top area of the visible bandwidth is, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of dark space up here. So um, sometimes that's also true in the bottom part as well. In this video, it happens to have been pretty much um, across the, the the space here. But what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, video effects to basically um, bring up what the eye naturally perceives as, a, as, in my opinion, a better color. So uh, if we go back to our um, video effects, uh, video effects things here, we'll see that if you go to the levels, uh, as I had mentioned before, and you pick the default choice, and we add that as one of the uh, um, video event fx's here that you'll see that we have this levels um, entity and what we're going to do with it let's start moving around here on you um, we're going to just basically if you move this import start this affects the bottom end down here and that basically moves that down like this and changes the color what we're trying to do is we're trying to fill up this dark space up here a little bit to move the pixels more into that realm and you'll see that by doing that I'm getting some bounce, so I'm losing some stuff up top here, but you'll see that it made it a much more vibrant color across the board in that uh, that aspect to it. Uh, that the video, that other video also goes on to explain a little bit of a push here on the uh, gamma can make the thing more pleasing. I personally find it just a little bit of a push to the right works out really well. I think that spreads a little bit of the. Um, uh, where the the colors are pushed across so it just for me personally this is more pleasing for me but you can play with those uh, entities to basically brighten up your video and what I'll do right now is I'll just take a copy of this and I will delete this effect the, the effects here so you'll see how it went darker and grayer and then what I'm gonna do is I'll put that um, uh, video effects back on there so you can see that it went bright again so just do it one more time quickly so a little darker but it's not just the brightness, it's the color, I, am, I, I don't know if the right word for it, I want to say uh, saturation, but you'll see that the, the flip goes on there. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I do this for most of the videos I capture off this camcorder now. Uh, the other piece I've shown in other videos is I make sure I disable the resampling that happens here so that the uh, sports video doesn't actually get uh, blurred too much when uh, when the rendering happens. But those are the, the three effects, or sorry, the two effects that I generally do now to the videos. So hopefully you found this useful, and uh, if you did, hit a like and a subscribe. I will include that link to the full description below because there's a lot more things that you can do for white balance playing around and, and those things. But for my camera and what I do, this uh, color correction RGB parade, and then applying a levels fix to it and just modifying it uh, works very, very well. Cheers.